Hello, this is Vivian Stewart, the Virtual Librarian at Southwest Tennessee. The presentation today is concerning locating information on obedience to authority, and this is for the students in Ms. Lipinski's English Comp class. So we're starting at the library's homepage, which is www.southwest.tn.edu forward slash library. In order to locate books, you can go to CyberCat, and I would suggest you perform either a keyword search or a title search using the terms obedience or authority. Our books can be checked out for 28 days. We're going back to the library's homepage because we will concentrate on finding articles on the topic. So we're going to electronic databases. I would suggest if you know the names of certain people who are known to have written on the subject, you can use one of the biography databases to find information on that person. I would also suggest TELL, which is the Tennessee Electronic Library. And the first thing we would do is select all of our databases and we will type in obedience to authority. and now we will search and our progress bar is moving at the bottom and when the page populates we should have full text magazine articles there are academic journals there are books there are newspaper articles there are audios and we have an option for more results so if you find an article that looks interesting simply click on the title link or full text and the full text of the article will display for you. You have the options to look at citation tools because your research paper must be written in MLA style. So MLA 7 to select it. We will save. Now we will open. And the article has been cited for you on the top line. And you can copy and paste this into your bibliography. We are going back. and now we are returning to the databases page and the next place I would suggest you go is under the category of current events go to points of view and once again we're maximizing the screen and we will type in obedience to authority and we will search and we have tabs for periodicals, newspapers, primary source documents, images, and also videos. So in the first tab, which shows all of our results, you have your title, the author, you have your date along with the volume and page, and you have an option to either view a PDF full text or an HTML full text and this provides you with the reading level so 1280 is beyond high school level so if we were to click on HTML full text you now have the option to listen to this based upon a certain accent or a reading speed or you can download it as an mp3 to your iPod and this is the full text information for you we are exiting out to go back to our listing of databases. I will suggest the Sweet Wise Searcher, which will allow you to search about 18 different sources. So when this opens, we will type in Obedience to Authority and search. and our information is slowly populating using the 17 collections that we have and we will wait for it to finish and we're up to 600 well, 720 results and all of the results may not be something that you can use but at least you have several options using a variety of books and scholarly um, databases that we have so our progress bar is almost to the end and we're asked do we want to include additional results so we will just stop it at this point and I just want you to see that your titles are listed in blue 
along with the relevancy rate it tells you the database that it is taken from and all of these are full text articles or information from books that you can look at we are now closing this out and as we continue down under the category of electronic books I want you to try Credo Reference and once again we will maximize the screen and we will perform our search and this source is searching for a reference book with information on your topic there are 607 results so the titles of the books are listed for you along with the brief summary along with the number of words and if they're images and the publisher of the book simply click on a title link which will display the information for you and there's an option for easy bib which if you select this it will open up a new window and your results will be available in MLA 7th because this is already selected or you can choose another source you have the option to print this out as a Word document, copy and paste it, send it to your email, or share it on a social network. I am closing this window out and closing out this window. And as we continue down, I want to point out that we do have online encyclopedias that you may want to look to see if there's any information there. Under the category of general periodicals, we want to go to Wilson's OmniFile full text and when this opens we have to select that database and we will once again search for our topic and you have the ability to limit this by dates but we will search all years and start and there are 169 results so you're provided with the author's name the title is in blue the title of your magazine or journal along with the dates and the page numbers what is most important is that you have to look for full text HTML or full text PDF the other things like in example 1 and 3 are only citations you also have the ability to listen to the articles being read to you we are closing this out and as we continue down under the category of humanities social sciences I would suggest you try psych articles and as this is opening up for us we will perform our search and hopefully we will find journal articles here also the progress bar is moving at the bottom and there were 11 matches so you provided with your title the author's name along with your publication and subject headings so with the subject headings you can possibly use other subject headings to bring up additional information for you they are ranked by relevance and you have an option to look at the HTML full text or the PDF version I'm closing this out. JSTOR is listed here also, but I we searched for JSTOR when we went through the Sweets Wise Searcher. But if you want to search it individually here, you can do it again also. You may want to try the psychology collection, but we searched this in detail database. It was one of the databases there. As we continue down you may want to go to the Literature Resource Center and let's search for obedience to authority and in this database what you will find is that you have literature criticisms there are biographies and we are running into some technical difficulties but hopefully when you try this later you won't have that problem 
there are there is a tab for topic and works overview there are reviews and news and then there's a primary source and a multimedia so if you know people who have written on the subject matter you can find um, criticisms on their works we are closing this out as we continue down I'm going to the category of multimedia and we're opening up the master academic collection and this collection contains over 5,000 videos and DVDs and our progress bar is now moving at the bottom and in a moment we will perform our search and there are five um, videos that are available so you can either select the title link or the diamond in the graphics and this will queue up so that you can actually view the entire video there's also a uh, newspaper databases that you may want to use to access any of our databases from home you will be prompted for your Southwest username and password as I scroll up I am now going back to the library's home page and we're going to our distance education library info net page and we are going to recommended websites under the category of literature I suggest you try character analysis and this will open up spark notes and let's search for obedience spark notes is a good place to go if by chance um, the information is too scholarly and you would like something to simplify your reading assignment so there is something on social psychology obedience and authority and this is a full text that you can actually read here or you may want to look at some of the other things that are listed so this is spark notes I am now going back to our daily page under the category of how to I want to point out that if you have never written a research paper there's a link on how to write a research paper that you can look at and also I want you to see how to develop a thesis statement once this opens click on the words thesis builder and once you have completed all of your research simply populate the chart by answering the questions and you have an option to build a thesis statement that you can copy and paste into your paper or make an online outline which will help you stay on target when you are writing your paper we are now going back to the library's home page and the last thing that I would like to point out is that under services you will have have a listing of the various schools that we have borrowing agreements with so if by chance you don't find everything that you need at Southwest as a Southwest student you can go to the other colleges that are listed and you may be able to find materials there that you can use we're going back to the library's homepage I hope that this has been helpful as a review of the things that we went over earlier as always we appreciate any comments or suggestions that you may have and please share this information with others have a great day.